And welcome back to Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, Chapter 11. First, we're going to take a look at Ayane's costumes. You've got the default one there. You have the costume from Ninja Gaiden 1 there. You have the Dynasty Warriors one there. And you have the nice Sigma 2 costume there, very elegant. But for the purpose of playing, I'm going to use the default. So, the Black Spider Clan is after more than just the demon statue. For you, for the village, find the eye. This chapter is probably the only chapter that would actually stand against the story and actually link to it. Because suddenly Ayane brings you the dragon's eye in chapter, uh, well, I believe it's chapter 11 in uh, the 360 version, but uh, at least with this, they've actually gone behind the scenes to show you how something that was already in the game happened instead of just adding new chapters that had no relevance. Oh! It's a shame they don't do that in the actual gameplay. Here she comes! I feel like a bug in a spider's web. You notice that they changed Ayane's face for this version of the game. She had a much more kind of chubby cheek kind of look in the 360 version. And I'm happy with that change. They made her look tons better in this. Ugh! Ugh! This is probably one of the hardest chapters in the game. Ugh! If not the hardest because of the sheer volume of enemies that attack her, the small amount of HP she has, ugh, and like the other characters, she does lack the strength that Ryu has, although she has a move like the Flying Swallow, which makes life so much easier. Ugh. And like the red guys, except their colors have been switched, they don't die either. While I remember, you notice that the karma is at the side. I wanted to get this chapter done in under 15 minutes so that I wouldn't have to split the videos, and I was 1 minute 30 seconds over in my original playthrough, so... After I finished this chapter, I went back and did it on Chapter Challenge. So what you're seeing here is me playing it on Chapter Challenge. Ugh. But fortunately, ugh, there is no change in Chapter Challenge for the extra chapters for the female characters because there are no upgrades, and so this is exactly the same as it would be if I were to do it on story mode. Now I will switch the voiceover track that I recorded back to the one from my initial playthrough when I get to the last save point in the chapter, and you'll notice it because you'll see the karma disappear and then the big uh, numbers will replace where it was. But this is, of course, the voice track that I recorded while I'm playing here. Ugh. Ugh. Oh! Oh! Ugh. Ayane definitely is good at uh, cutting off their limbs, though, when doing uh, attacks on the ground. It seems she's more effective when staying on the ground. If you try and do a lot of moving around and dodging through the air, she's not as strong and the enemies will take a lot longer to die. Can never have too many of those. Okay, better use it. <sighs> if we die here, we have to start all over again. Oh, shit! Ugh. Come on! Ugh. Oh! Not getting away! Ugh. Ah, 
shit! No thanks! Ugh. Shit, not another one! Ugh. Ugh. Down you go! Ugh. Oh, I was on the edge of my seat there. Now, I could have used some healing items there, but I want to make sure that I use the same amount that I did in my playthrough that I did before, so that it's not an unfair change. This right here is probably the hardest fight in her chapter because of the small space and a lot of magician guys. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that was close. On the edge of my seat here, again. Ooh! No thanks! Not ready to die yet. Ugh. Gotta get ready for a bunch of the throwing explosive bastards that don't die! Ugh. Alright, I'm gonna use it. I, I don't have time for this. Doesn't even take off a limb with these guys. Ugh. Except that one. Ugh. Another hard battle out the way. Stock up on all the items. Now I do have the same amount of items that I had when I played through it on uh, normal story mode, so no advantages or any changes. Played through it pretty much the same, just faster. <laughs> Up here is the save point where I will switch to uh, standard story mode. You'll notice the karma will disappear. And there you go. Might as well use those. Oh, what are you doing? Go for the magic guy. you go Ugh. nice try Ugh. no you don't ah that's why you're supposed to take out the magic guy first oh come on Go. No, not another one. Ugh. Where is he? Ugh. Always good to throw a shuriken at them to stun them so you can get close and grab them. All right, follow the fucking throwing guy.
really can't afford for that guy to get near us. Oh, and he wants to. Ugh. Oh, see? Motherfucker. Use it again. Ah, oh, shit. Time to die. There you go. Uh. Uh. Ah. Down goes Magician Man. Alright, we gotta use it again. I'm in a tight spot. There you go. What? Uh, another one! Better clear the area of all the other guys first. And heal. Ah, ah yes! Took a limb off him. He's toast. Ah, another one! Let's finish him quickly! This time. Nice and steady. One more. It's over! Whew. Another difficult or pain in the ass battle. But damn! Ayane has some huge boobs. I mean, you look at her in Ninja Gaiden 1, and then you look at her in Ninja Gaiden 2, and you're like, Whoa! I guess those two years are good to you! <laughs> Because that's one of the reasons why we like Ayane so much. The enormous you, breasts. You're the Spider Ninja Clan's witch. I thought you died a long time ago. Where is the eye? <laughs> You've got some fight in you. This woman voicing the witch is the same woman who voices Momiji. The power of the dragon's eye. Now, I don't really have a tactic for this fight, so I'm probably just gonna do her version of the flying swallow a lot. Ah. Ah. Try to stay away from her when she does that. No, oh, you do not want to get caught by that. Ah. Shit. Ah! Might as well use all the healing items, since this is her only chapter. <sighs> oh, come on! Ugh. Ooh, that was close. Ah! Oh, come on! Might as well use it. Now it's over. Not a hugely difficult boss fight, but probably not the easiest, but it's easier. A lot easier than Momiji's or Rachel's. And the detail they put in her eyes is really good. Do you? <coughs> Here comes a really pointless part in the game, which is just teaser fan service. Kasumi from Dead or Alive, Ayane's sister. You don't even see her face. The model probably doesn't even have a face. It's entirely pointless they did that. They show her again at the end of the credits at the end of the game. Completely pointless. Anyway, that's it for chapter 11. Stay tuned for chapter 12.